You are looking at a high quality prompt created using prompt generator for bloggers that I developed inside ChatGPT. This tool allows you to create similar prompts or more advanced and detailed ones, enabling you to generate high quality blog posts. All you need to do is to fit some special data into ChatGPT to train it and transform it to a powerful prompt generator for bloggers. After you have trained it, it will ask you 15 rounds of questions with examples, explanation and demonstrations. You will respond with 15 inputs like yes, no, numbers and 3-4 word sentences. Each time it asks you questions and takes input from you. And finally, it combines the input data with special text and convert it to a high quality powerful prompt for blogging in any niche, market or category. This powerful prompt helps you generate content from various generative AI tools like Jasper AI, ChatGPT, OpenAI Playground, Bing Chat, Cloud2 and Google Bird. So in short, we can call it as our personal prompt engineer. You have to watch the video until the end to learn everything about creating this prompt generator and using it to create powerful prompts for blogging in any niche. I will show you everything you need to know about this tool in this video. Before I start the video, I want to let you know something important. It took almost entire day to create this prompt generator. I will be sharing the script for this generator in the video description so you can use it for free. I want you to use it effectively to get most out of it, right? Sometimes you need to input data into it using your own knowledge. This will help you achieve the better results. Towards the end of the video, I will demonstrate how you can use the prompt generated using this tool to create high quality blog post. I will also show you how to enhance your writing by using another tool called Neuron Writer. So let's get started. This blueprint you can see here explains how this prompt generator works. It generates a powerful and high quality prompt for creating top notch blog post. Let me break it down for you. First we have the prompt engineer script. It is a special text that contains essential data and instructions. When you receive the script or data, you will copy it and head over to ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, open a new chat bar and paste this script. Once you have entered the data, ChatGPT will engage you in 15 rounds of questions. Simultaneously, you will provide 15 rounds of input in response. After this interactive session, you will receive a powerful and high quality prompt made for your blogging niche. This prompt is crafted by asking you various questions like your topic, your target market and many other questions. It's a result of a collaborative process with ChatGPT. Now let's recap the steps. First we'll have the initial script then feeding the script into ChatGPT, then the 15 rounds of Q&A and the resulting robust prompt. So I hope you got clarity what steps we're gonna take to create this prompt generator. So let's move on to the action steps. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. This is our prompt engineer, a text script to help us create prompt generator. The name of the script is prompt engineer, as you can see. Here, what we will do, you know, select and copy all the script from here and head over to ChatGPT. Once there, paste the copied text into the new chat bar and hit enter. Wait for the response to generate. Now moving on, after you have entered the script, you will notice that it follows certain guidelines. It starts with some guidelines and because of these guidelines, you will encounter 15 rounds of questions. These guidelines are important because they cover various rules for crafting prompts. I have included 15 crucial guidelines specifically useful for bloggers. Starting with the first one, ChatGPT will show a message ready to proceed with the prompt generation. Now let's dive into the guideline one. The prompt generator will ask you to introduce the concept related to your chosen topic like this. Could you please share the succinct overview of the subject you plan to cover in the upcoming blog post? For example, if you are planning a blog post on strategies for profitable Facebook ads, you would outline that. And if you are unsure about your topic, don't worry. Just tell the tool, I don't know my niche, you can even ask it to show you examples. I will type here, my niche is email marketing, but I don't have any idea what topic should I choose. Show me some examples. Then I will hit enter. It will generate options for me to choose from. You can see that it has generated five topics, but if you would like to find new topics, you can find it. But from here, I will pick number two, the art of crafting irresistible email subject lines and you are good to go. Once you have input your topic, guideline 2 comes into play. It will ask you about your expert persona in the field of email marketing. You can see that it has some examples. We can pick any one from the given examples. If you are unsure, you can ask for more example and follow say the same process. So I will copy this email marketing specialist text and I will paste it in the chat bar and I will hit enter. Now as you can see, it has taken 
our input and now it's moving towards the guideline 3. In guideline 3, it is asking for something specific. It wants you to mention the action you will take for the blog post. You can choose a verb like create, generate, simplify, modify, correct or something similar, right? Since we want to generate a blog post, so we will go with generate. We will type generate in, in this chat bar. Then I will press enter. Now we are moving to guideline 4. Okay, now we are on guideline 4. Here it's asking about the format you want for the content. Okay, it is asking like you now, do you want plain text, tabulated data, a list or a narrative? We can choose the plain text or we can simply write blog post. So let's go with the blog post. Now it is thanking us for specifying. Next we will move to guidelines 5. In guideline 5, it's asking for main theme of the blog post. What kind of theme do you want? It could be informational, promotional, review, tutorial, etc. From there, I will choose best practices. And that's number six. Okay. And just I will type number six and then I will hit enter. Then it's saying nice choice. Now moving on to guideline six. In guideline six, it is about the writing tone. What kind of tone do you want for the blog post? You have the options like casual, formal, informal and so on. Let's go with the number one that is casual just for an example right okay now we are at guideline 7 in guideline 7 they want you to give specific details about your target audience and their demographics you can start by describing your target audience if you're not sure you can ask for examples i will write here like this can you show me the narrow target audience and their demographics but you can see that it has shown results from multiple niches you can choose any one of them but i will enter my target audience and that is coaches who are struggling with email marketing engagement age 25 to 40 then you can hit enter and you can see that it says thank you for specifying now we are on guideline 8 here it's asking about now we are on the guideline 8 here it is asking if you want to do a new web search to get accurate information about email marketing engagement strategy for post in a specified age group you can type yes or okay if you want to do if you don't want these resources just type no Alternatively, you can paste a link to the resources you have for that it will move on to guideline 9. Moving on to guideline 9, it will ask you about intent of creating this content. Is it meant to be educational, persuasive, informative, entertaining or something else? You can say educational. So you can type that or paste the information and submit it. Next in guideline 10, it is asking if you have done keyword research for specific keywords. If you have done, simply paste all the keywords here. If not, you know, you can simply input keywords similar how you search on Google. You can ask for examples by saying show me some example then you can see that it has given us total 6 keywords. So I can input this keyword but you have to do keyword research and enter the keywords you gathered. Then I will type all 6 and hit enter. After you have provided the keywords it will move on to the guideline one. Here it will inform you that it's important to avoid standard greetings like hi hello or welcome at the beginning of your blog post. But in this case it will automatically remove those greetings. But if you want to remove anything extra. You can tell it for example you can say don't include thank you for reading my blog post at the end of the blog post then just submit it now for guideline 12 it is suggesting you to share a brief personal experience related to the topic to add a human touch to your article it means that you need to share your experience with the topic and you have to write this in first person pronouns you can see here that it has given you some examples and if you are not still clarified with this then you can ask for some more examples or write your own story i'll simply type here show me some more examples then you can see that it has given us total of five examples and we can choose any one of them now from here i will go with story number two next we have guideline three here it will ask you about the desired level of readability this is about making sure the text is easily readable so it will ask you to choose whether you want to write this in advanced english simple english urban english or simple spoken english i will go with simple spoken english because that's what gives reader human like reading vibes now moving to guideline 14 it's asking you to specific formatting likes heading h1 h2 h3 bullet points and bold text you can simply type yes for that because we want format our blog post with headings and subheadings finally for guideline 15 you can add any additional notes warnings expert quotes or references you would like to include in the blog post just type what you want and hit enter or else type no here i will type expert quotes then i will hit enter now as you can see finally it is generating a prompt for us look at how it is generating all right you can see that our prompt is generated and it's now here is the important thing to understand you can actually make this prompt short 
or you can modify or or you can improve it first review your prompt and if you have any changes addition or need clarification just let it know the tool will improve the prompt for you now after reviewing your prompt if you see that you need to shorten it so how you will do that it's simple simply type make this prompt short and hit enter now let's scroll down right see i have made it shorter here now we can pick either first one or the second one but firstly we will compare both and see which one is best to do that i will copy the first one and i will paste it in a google doc after pasting it i will copy the second one and i will again paste it in the same google document right now you see that in now the first one is quite long and but the second one is more concise the second one starts from here and the first one ends here so i think the second one is better because sometimes putting such long prompts confuses the generative ai so we will use second one let's remove all the extra text like this braces from here and here now let's select and copy this next we were going to bing chat open it up after opening it make sure that you are going with the creative mode not valence nor precise now in the chat bar paste the prompt if you need to add anything else in the prompt you can add that too one thing is not mentioned after demographics is the age group 25 to 40 so i'll write it all right that's all now i will hit enter and let's see what it comes up with if it does not create a better blog post we can use the first prompt let's wait for it to generate we will check back once it's done now as you can see Bing chat has generated about the half of the blog post but look it stopped generating after this so continue it writing the blog post just type continue here it will pick up where it left off that is continue to write the blog post so it started continuing writing the blog post okay finally you can see that it has continued and it has generated the whole article now if you think that the generated article is too short what you can do is simply type extend to extend the blog post and make it longer right also if you want to make more subheadings that's easy to just follow what i'm doing here here i will type add subheadings 8 9 10 just a simple bit of typing and it will start creating some more subheadings with paragraphs so as you can see after a while it created three more subheadings and their respective paragraphs so our blog post is long enough now you can see subheadings 8 and 10 and their respective paragraphs right next to improve this blog post and make it seo friendly we will use neuron writer which is an another ai writing assistant tool we'll just copy all this text but before that we need to go to neuron writer you can see that i am on the dashboard if you don't have an account you can create a free one right if you are not sure how to use it you can find the onboarding videos on the top and you can watch them and learn how to use it once you are on the neuron writer click create a new project since i am on the free plan so i will not be able to create more than one project so i have to go with the existing project once the project is open now we have to create a query and query is a you know is a keyword that we want to rank for our keyword is email marketing for coaches i will copy it from the prompt generator then come back here and paste it here and then i will click on start and the query is created right then you can see many columns and in the second column we see that we can add a target url but i will add it later the volume of the keyword is like 30 that means the keyword do not have huge volume now to take action i mean to edit or delete or add anything we have to wait for it to fetch data from the internet when it's done you can see how competitive the keyword is and you can see that it's just 25 next i will click on this feather icon to take further actions you will see the competitors and top pages ranking on google their blog post length are also shown the top 10 pages have automatically selected so that you can track quality of your blog post against your competitors right you can also select some more after that click next you will be redirected to neuron writer editor after landing on neuron writer editor you will enter our target url that is my own website okay next you can see that competitor best is uh, 78 so competitor best is 78 which means that their overall content score is 78 so our post overall content score should be around 78 or 80 to rank high on google right you can see that to rank our blog post on top 10 we have to aim for 2200 words at least okay now let me explain the terms that are required in your article you need these basic terms in your articles like coach 14 to 47 times email marketing 70 to 26 times and email 30 to 66 times 
there are more terms to consider like digital marketing when you are writing you have to make sure that you are including all these terms in your blog post to rank it to top position and this neuron data tool will help you in doing that so right all right so next you will head over to bing chat open up bing chat i will copy the section that was generated first after that i will come back here again and paste it in the neuron writer text editor now let's clean it up we have to remove all the references right that was generated from bing chat then then we have to remove all these hashtags now let's make the first text as h1 title on the left side you see some of the suggested terms turned green this shows that the terms are equally getting distributed in the article that's good but you have to include much more terms to turn all green and you can see that our overall content score for this article is now 17 words so we have to improve that for the top ranking pages they have 78 overall score so we have to achieve that that's why we are aiming for 78 now i'll again go to bing chat and bring the second part here and remove all the unnecessary text similarly i'll bring the third part and do similar editing after removing all unnecessary and arranging the text we can see that overall content score is improved now and the number of the words are also perfect to improve it more we will open our overall content score tracker then you can see that the main keyword is not available in the meta title so it's showing zero similarly in meta description and you can see that in h1 our main keyword is there but since there is no h2 in the article yet so it's showing zero on h2 as well next we can see that how much we have used the suggested terms so you can see that in meta title and meta description it's zero in basics and extended terms it's okay but we have to improve it then you can see that the length of the blog post is all right there is no keyword stuffing as well to improve this first we'll create sub sub headlines like h2 this is our second h2 in the article now after creating some h2s you can see that the overall content score is improved now from 28 to 30 Now, if I again check overall content score, then you can see that it has improved now, and it is now 31. You can click on Add Meta to add meta title and meta description. Next, you can directly publish your WordPress blog from here, right? If you have connected your WordPress account here, right? And then you can click here on to save the draft. On the left hand side, you have AI writing tools that you can use to rephrase, expand, or generate. any text you want remember that you have to use paraphrasing tools to paraphrase this content and and make it human generated content there is a lot you can do to make your article better when you are ready save your work or directly upload it to wordpress that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful the next video i will show you how to do prompt engineering how to create prompts and all the basics that's all for today goodbye and see you in the next video